I'll be honest uh, with the, with the news this week, I've had a tough couple of days personally as well. Um, you know, I want to get over this and I was really excited for a new year. 2020, 2021 came and we were all optimistic to kick uh, 2020 out of our lives. But the reality is the pandemic isn't just uh, isn't done with us yet. And with numbers on the rise, it's really, really important uh, that on Ontarians, but uh, specifically Haltonians, and Miltonians remain diligent. OK, the reason that these numbers are on the rise is because of community transmission and personal contact. A lot of people have been in touch with my office with uh, with very valid concerns uh, about uh, people coming in and out of the country. I have those concerns as well. I have voiced those concerns and I have advocated for stronger um, controls and regulations at the border. And we have seen some changes recently now that before you get on a plane, if you're coming back to Canada, if you're Canadian and you are abroad for whatever reason, you need to produce a negative COVID-19 test before you even get on the plane. And then we also have a COVID-19 screen um, pilot project at the airport. and. In addition to that, everybody that arrives at the airport, any Canadian airport, must then quarantine at home, self-isolate for 14 days. And if they can't do it at home safely, then there's a, a federal program for that. So to make sure uh, that uh, that people stay home. The quarantine has been working. Some people have uh, you, you know, said they would like to see stronger restrictions at the border. I've been advocating for some of those, but it's very important to note that when we look at the numbers, the reason that the numbers are on the rise is not because of international travel. International travel is, is responsible for maybe 1.5 to 2.5% of the cases. And there are thousands of cases and you know dozens of people dying every single day. And the vast majority of those cases are unfortunately because of community contact and because people aren't following the stay at home regulations. They're not following the social distancing. They're not wearing a mask and they're not washing up. Um, these are still very, very important regulations and, and standard operating procedures for businesses, for homes, for people to take into consideration. We need to continue to get these numbers down. And the main driver of the numbers on the rise is unfortunately still community transmission.